All right, so check it out, man. We're filming this motherfucker in my little studio, and my fucking shit is actually on a tripod. I don't do this. I don't know why I don't do this, but I don't do this. First time I've done this in a long time. What's up, people? How's it going? Uh, as you know, there's been some complications in my life. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on or what's going to happen or how it's going to happen, but I know something's going to happen. Where's my fucking shit? Where's my weed at? Oh, uh, I just want to say, you got to subscribe to this channel, man, because, uh, I plan on doing things. Like, when I come up here and tell you that I'm going to do things that are, like, for people to help people, I'm not playing, man. Like, I went down today, tonight. I drove downtown because I was going to make some videos of, like, uh, a campsite area where I know some people down there or whatever. Man, I'll tell you what. I got down there, dude, and it was so fucking gnarly or whatever that I didn't even record nothing, man. It was fucking pretty brutal, man. Like, people right now on the fucking homeless stretch of life or whatever are fucking pretty savage, man. Like, there's some fucking shit going on downtown that I... Just, I mean... Just nastiness. People talking to the sky, like... I don't know where this fucking schizophrenia thing fucking stepped into fucking downtown life or whatever, but it's fucking... It's it's running rampant downtown, boy. Like, let me tell you. Motherfuckers are skip duly lost their mind. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough out there, man. It's really rough out there. It's fucking bad. Uh, just, I don't, I don't see this stuff stopping, or I don't see the government or anybody, really. I mean, a bunch of people got housing, but now they just come downtown and go home at night, and they're still down there doing the same shit. Like, it's fucking pretty fucking nasty. Like, when I see, I usually gauge shit by, like, if I see, like, chicks down there, like, like, out of their fucking minds that are pretty much, like, being victimized by some dude. And when I say victimized, I mean, they know what they're doing. They're not really getting victimized. But, I mean, they're just, like, trailing around some guy, probably because he's got the sack or something. And they're just following his ass, and they're just zapped out of their fucking brains. There's a lot of that right now. Like, that was the first thing I fucking seen when I went downtown. And when there's a lot of that going on, that means that there's it's fucked up. It's weird. That's how I gauge some shit downtown. Like... When you're dealing with inner city shit, it's fucking pretty trippy, man. Like, downtown San Jose, I can fucking read like a book. Like, you could pull up on that fucking on St. James Park, and I can tell you what's going on in that park just by driving by in a car. It's fucking trippy. Dory trips on it. Uh, like, I'd be, I'd, be, uh, I'd be knowing this shit. I've been out of that park for a long time, done a lot of shit out there. And the only reason I know what's going on in that park is because you got to. If you're out there, you got to know it. Like... I mean, I hate to admit it, dude, but I've been out there doing bad things. I've fucking sold hell drugs out there. I did. I did it. Cops know it. I mean, everybody knows it. I did it. I don't do it no more. Uh, not because I think I'm better now or nothing like that. Just because it's not really profitable anymore out there. And like, I mean, I, I, I did that out there, man. I'm not a fucking saint. I did a lot of bad shit. When I'm homeless, dude, I do a lot of bad shit. <clears throat> when I'm homeless, the sky's the limit, dude. Anything to survive, dude. Like, I'll, I'm gonna fucking survive, man. Like... Being homeless is pretty fucking rock gut. And not only that, but I've been homeless and I've been caught like at night in a bad way where I just got fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like that has happened. Sitting in a fucking doorway all night, fucking shivering and shit, talking to myself. Yeah. That happened to me a couple times in Frisco. Whoo. Whoo. Frisco, man. Fuck, dude. I've been caught out there. <laughs> I went out there one night. War Story 101, here we go, the first one. I smoked some PCP with this dude from my town, and we went out to San Francisco, and we were cruising around, we went to a show, and I got so fucked up on PCP, man, I was fucking gone, dude. I didn't know what was going on. I was a fucking teenager. I didn't know what, I was probably 17, so I, had, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was out of my mind. I grabbed this book called, it was like a comic book, but a hardback book called Grin and Barrett. And it was like my lifeline all night long, dude. Like, I had to have that book. And I was just walking around showing people the book. Fucking grin and bear it, man. Just grin and bear it. And I was, like, trying to relate it to PCP. It was fucking crazy, dude. All night, dude. I went to some fucking crazy-ass nudie bar. Some chick was like, I'm not even supposed to be in there. I just wandered in there and nobody said nothing. I got this book. Some chick's dancing all around me. I don't even know what she's doing, dude. I'm freaking out. I'm like, fuck it. I got a naked bitch in front of me. How the fuck did that happen? Like... Yeah, dude. Yeah. 
That was back in the day, man. It was fucking all night long, dude, like that. Three o'clock in the morning, dude, fuck, cops pulled up me, asked me what I was doing. I told him I don't know, and I had the book, and I was like this, and they just drove away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Frisco's like that. God, I can't stand San Francisco. I lived there for like two years. It was fucked up, dude. I've never been so fucked up in my life. I've never been so fucked up in my life, dude. I fucking, I lived on San Francisco Broadway, dude. I'd wake up in the morning, and I'd tell myself I wasn't getting fucked up, and I wouldn't make it out my front door. <laughs> it was fucked up, dude. I was a fucking cesspool of chemicals. Yeah. That was a fucked up time in my life. I'm glad I made it. There's been a few like that. <laughs> uh, dude, I just got jacked by the police there night. I was ready to go to jail, dude. I got no bail warrant, man. I was ready to go. I had handcuffs on. I was in back of the cop car. It was on. It was over. I was going to do my chicken shit 70 days, come out healthy as fuck, and be ready to do this again. And they fucking sighted and that was a bomb. They fucking sighted and released me out of nowhere. Sighted and released me, motherfuckers. I was ready to go, dude. I was ready to fucking go pay the fucking piper, man. You listen to the music, you got to pay the piper, you know? And I've been listening to music for quite a while this time. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going homeless or not. I might be homeless the next couple of days. I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, man. My integrity's involved. I'm gone. You know that. I ain't like that. So how y'all doing, man? Everybody take care of each other in this time of need, you know? Like, for real. For real. I have, oh, that's another thing, too, dude. I had a motherfucking date today, dude. I had a motherfucking date with a female today. And that fucking broad stood me up. Can you fucking believe that? She did. Yeah. You know? Thank God I got high self-esteem, man. Thank God I got high self-esteem. That shit would have fucked me up, man. Yeah, I got stood up today. I had all sorts of cool shit planned, dude. I was going to take this girl out and... Show her side, like, I told her, like, mm, yeah, I'm not even gonna get into it, but she fucking stood me up. I sat around for hours. Whoa. Yeah, fuck poor me, man. Stood up by J-Cat. That's fucked up, dude. I was gonna fucking take her out in the old van, go cruise around in the creepy van. <laughs> go see what's going on. So, uh, can I get some subscriptions from you people? I mean, really, man. Can I get subscriptions, subscriptions? I mean, for real. Smash the button, all that weird shit. You know what I'm saying? I really would like it if you guys just subscribe to my channel right away. Like, by the droves. Like, come on. By the hordes. Wrote a little song about it. Like, here, here it goes. <laughs> but for real, man, can you guys subscribe to my channel? So we can, uh, like, make shit happen, dude. Like, for real. If we can get 